My name is Norma Torres Sanes. I was a civil disobedient in the fight against the military presence in Vieques. I am also a poet, and I have a book dedicated to the struggle in Vieques. My family was one of the ones who suffered expropriation when the Navy arrived in Vieques in the 1940s. With the invasion of the United States Navy came horrible stories. When the sailors would leave their base, they would come into the town and assault people. They would grab the girls. Drunk sailors would do whatever they wanted to do, entering people's houses, and there were even rapes. For more than 60 years, the Navy was bombing us with many poisons, napalm, Agent Orange, depleted uranium, and many other things, some of which we may never know definitively. I am the cousin of David Sanes, the young man who was killed when the Navy dropped a bomb in the wrong place. When David died, it was like a balloon you stuck a pin into. Boom! All of the people came out to protest, and it was the beginning of a lot of solidarity. Within weeks, we succeeded in getting 32 women. We met, we got to know each other, and it was a beautiful chemistry between us. On August 7, 2000, we decided to cross the barricade into the Navy zone. Of course, they arrested us. They chained us up, which was a very violent process. There was the moment when we heard the terrible sound of the chains scraping along the floor. And then they put us in a line and chained up our feet and chained up our hands and then chained up our waists. And I was shaking. When they finally closed the bombing range, May 1, 2003, two weeks later, I was diagnosed with cancer. I never thought that through all of this I could be incubating some kind of monster like cancer inside of me. I've always led a very healthy life. It was during the chemotherapy that I decided to write the next book of poems called Little Birds Disarming Rifles. The poems cover everything, my love for Vieques, my role in the struggle, my frustrations, my courage, and my call to others to keep fighting.